Ma, wake up. Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> it's time to get investigating. <sighs> Do you really just scare the crap out of me for no reason? I just didn't want you to sleep through the whole day. Ugh, I'm too old for this. Yeah, I know. Huh? Uh, maybe that's Olivia? Hey, Abby, it's Olivia. I'm here at the library, so drop by any time. Perfect, I'll be there soon. See you then. <laughs> that was Olivia. Huh? The librarian, does she have the files? Looks like it. <laughs> yes. Huh? Well, go, get over there. Me, you're coming too. Oh, I thought I'd just stay here with Rosa. Uh. Do you think I'm about to live my kid? Do you think I'm about to leave my kid alone in the house with the strange ghost? You have lost your damn mind. Well, when you put it like that. Come on, let's get to the library. Olivia's waiting. Oh, cool library. Olivia should be around here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the library. <laughs> hey, I really appreciate you helping us out. Of course, I'm happy to help. Oh. I did some extra digging for you. I've got some information about the fire, but also some police reports about your house's previous owners. <sighs> about the owners? I haven't lived here long myself. They were here before my time. But it doesn't look good, Abby. You should go look around, Bianca. Let me look through these reports. I'm guessing they're not appropriate for a 10-year-old. Most definitely not. Okay. Here you go. You're welcome to pull up a chair at any one of the study tables. I'll go help Bianca find a good book to read. What have I gotten us into? I open this. Officers called residence at 2100 by Rosa reporting domestic. A husband attained. A husband detained charges dropped. Officers called around 1800 hours by neighbor reporting domestic. Rosa denied assistance. Officers called by neighbor. Rosa denied. Uh, shoulder triforce tattoo wrist semicolon temple two inch scar. Uh, old ankle surgery uses a cane to assist walking. Rosa. Neighbor often calls to do wellness checks. Husband works from home. Uh, name Narciso Castillo. Petty larceny, armed robbery, assault, assault, assault. Officers called to residence. Wife reporting a domestic. Uh, let's see. Wife denied. Blood type, dragon tattoo, tribal pattern. Is so photographer never lets us speak to the wife alone. Work from home. Received call at 0900 for assistance with active fire. Fire department, ambulance, and officers deployed. Upon arriving at the scene at 09 1600, officers observed storage shed behind house on fire. Fire department responded, dousing flames by 09 35. It wasn't until after flames were doused that Narciso, Narciso Castillo informed respondents of his wife inside. Immediate response removed victim from the structure. Victim suffered extreme burns, body unrecognizable. Dental records confirm victim to be Rosella Castillo. Fire appears to have been started by an unattended candle. Castillo claims to have been asleep at the time of the fire start. Uh, item, candle, art supply, single match. Half burn, pastels on easel, canvas, several photos, no accompanying matchbook. So he staged it. Holy shit, what have I gotten us into? I'm guessing you read through the reports? Yeah. Kind of a bummer to read about your own house having such a troubling history. <laughs> Don't worry, though. 
It happened years ago, way before you moved in. None of this can affect you. Actually. Oh? Oh, something wrong? No, you're right. <laughs> it's all in the past. Guess I should have left it buried. I get it. Sometimes you just need to know. Well, thank you for your help. I appreciate it. We better be going. Where's Bianca? <laughs> oh, I got her started on a cozy mystery series Lucida loves. She's right over there. Huh? Did you find anything? <sighs> yeah, we'll discuss it later. Time to get home. Got it. Thanks for letting me read this, Miss Olivia. Here you go. Keep it. At least until you're done. That's what our libraries are. That's what libraries are for. Come on, I'll set you up with a library card before you go. You too, Abby. <laughs> okay. What I found out in the library. It's scary, really scary, even for me. Aww. What does that mean? <sighs> Means we have to be more careful. I know this started as some kind of fun mystery for you, but this is real. This is more real than I imagined it would get. And I can't have you getting hurt. Do you understand? <sighs> I'm not a baby, Ma. I can handle this. <sighs> I know you feel that way, Bianca. <sighs> but you're just a little girl. <sighs> I wish you could just trust me to know myself. <gasps> Mama would have. E Never mind. Forget it. Don't we have to look around to find out more information on how Rosa died? Fine, let's get to it. We should take a close look at the scene of the fire. Let's go back inside. Can't even imagine, Rosa. Just a rock. A huge hole in the tree. I wonder if anything lives inside. <sighs> the tree doesn't have a lot of branches to climb. You probably need a rope or something to help us get up. Well, lucky for you, I know where there's a rope. <laughs> rope, we can use that to climb the tree. <laughs> I'll grab it. If we swing the rope over that branch, we can probably use it to climb up. Uh. Hmm. This tree was probably beautiful once. The fire destroyed half of it. This branch looks burnt, not very safe. But it's the best branch that'll get us all the way up to that knot. I'll swing it over. Hold on to the rope while I climb up and see what's inside that hole. <gasps> Wait! You're too heavy. Uh. Excuse me? The branch is toast. If you climb up there, it's definitely going to snap. Like you're always saying, you're going to break your neck. What, so you're suggesting you climb up there? <laughs> of course, I'm half your size. Too dangerous, Bianca. Uh. Why can't you just trust that I know what I'm talking about? Must you. You're mature for your age. You're only ten years old. You shouldn't be so wise. I've gone through way more than a normal ten-year-old. Don't you get it? Aww. I dealt with mom crumbling away right in front of me. For three whole years before she... <gasps> before she was gone forever. Then you made us move here. This is what you needed. Mm. It's for the best, Bianca. Aww. The best for who? You? I'm your mother. It's my job to protect you. You're so busy protecting me, you're completely ignoring what I really need. Aww. I don't need a protector right now. <gasps> I need someone to hold me and listen to me. Someone to tell me everything's going to be okay. <sighs> I don't want to pretend like nothing's wrong and move on with our life like nothing happened. Aww. I want to face it with my mom by my side. <gasps> the only mom I have left. Bianca. So sorry. You're so mature. <gasps> and that means I failed. Huh? What? You should still be enjoying your childhood. You should be worrying about classes and sports and silly middle school drama. Not worrying about heavy stuff like this. Mm. I think I made a mistake bringing us here. 
Maybe I should just give up on this whole new life. Maybe we should just go back to our old neighborhood, try to get our old house back. Things weren't great there, but they weren't as bad as here. Uh. You're still not getting it. Stop trying to run away. Uh. You think I'm running away? We'll discuss this more later. Mm. For now, let's focus on one problem at a time. Whatever. Go ahead, climb up. Now hold the rope. Hold on tight, okay? I got this, Ma. Just one second. I'm almost there. Huh? Hey, there's something in here. Ah! Uh. Bianca! Aww. Oof. <sighs> Told you it was too dangerous. You could have died. Okay, Ma. It wasn't even that big of a fall. And the branch didn't fall off, it just cracked a little. I only fell because it surprised me. I knew you would fall, I knew it! Ma, calm down, I'm fine. I didn't even manage to stab myself. Huh? Stab yourself? What do you mean? What did you find? This. A strange bundle. Well, looks like an old towel. And inside, a knife. Let's put this stuff away. Ma, uh, what does this mean? <sighs> I think I'm putting the pieces together here, B. This hidden knife, the photo of Rosa, bloody in the house. <gasps> you think that was real? So the stains on the rug in the entry? I don't know, Mia. But there's only one way to find out. How's that? We need a black light. The box of different bulbs. Some of them are blue. Ooh, I bet these are black light bulbs. <laughs> we can use one on the flashlight. Take a look at the rug in the entry. So this is where we use the black light? Yeah, but it's not going to do us any good right now. It's too bright, even with the lights off. Gotta wait till night. <laughs> All these windows you love so much are getting in the way. Well, sorry, I didn't realize we're going to be doing a murder investigation in our own house. <sighs> sorry, it's not very funny, is it? No. What do we do till nighttime? Well, we could talk some more about what's bothering you. <gasps> really? Stark out already. <laughs> time flies. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Guess it's really time to do this. Yeah. Okay, stand back, B. Hit the lights. Aww. This is really creepy. Just hold on. I think it might get creepier in a second. I'm going to turn on the black light. <gasps> Holy <gasps> shit. <gasps> Ma! Hmm. Turn on the lights, B. Ma, this isn't good. No, it isn't. We better go talk to Rosa. Let me do the talking, okay? You gonna tell her the truth? What do you mean? You gonna tell her about downstairs? Or are you gonna lie just to make her leave? I'm going to tell her the truth. She deserves, she deserves to know what really happened. Hey, it's going to be okay. You believe me, right? Rosa, you here? What? Huh? We're back. What did you find? Nothing good. I'm just going to say it out front. Oh. I was worried you say that. That's bad, is it? Bad enough that I'm seriously consider walking away from this place and never looking back? There are police records on this house. The fire. Yes, the fire. It was labeled an accident. What's that look about? There's also police reports on you. You and your husband. What about him? What happened to Narciso? He hurt you. Probably pretty badly. <gasps> he hurt me? Yeah. I know this is hard to hear. You never want to believe that someone you love... Someone who swore to protect you. That they're actually the one hurting you the most. I don't have to continue if you don't want to hear. No, I have to know. Oh. Please, tell me more. The police report said you called them reporting domestic violence. 
But you didn't end up pressing charges. And your husband, he had a history of violence. Huh? I don't... I don't remember that. I don't understand. There's more, Rosa. This isn't just suspicion. We found a photo of you, dead. And we found... Well, we found a knife. A, a knife? <gasps> and so much blood in the house. Rosa, I think... I think you were murdered by your husband. I don't... But... I think he tried to cover it up with the fire. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know it's a shock. I can't imagine what you must be feeling. Huh? I can't remember my life with him. I thought we were happy. Or maybe... Oh. Was I pretending to be happy? It's all in bits and pieces. Can't put it all together. <gasps> you have to help. You have to find out why. I have to know. None of this makes sense. I'm sorry, Rosa. We can't be involved in this anymore. Huh? Mom? Uh. No, Bianca, I mean it. Uh. But why not? Rosa, don't you understand what this means? Your death wasn't an accident. That means we're dealing with murder here. That means someone got away with murder. And they're out there probably making sure no one uncovers the information that we've uncovered. Uh. Is digging into this going to put me and Bianca in danger? Are we going to uncover more secrets that we shouldn't touch? Mm. I'm sorry, but you're dead, Rosa. You can't be affected by this anymore. But we have lives, uh, but we have lives to live, and Bianca is too young for this mess. <gasps> I have my daughter to think about, and I don't know if you understand what that means. <gasps> Are you okay? Huh? Zinnia. What? I planted the bush for her on the porch. I remember. The rose bush? Zinnias. They were zinnias, not roses. Oh. Zinnia. <gasps> oh. Ugh. This is an impossible choice. Of course I'll help you. Part of looking out for my daughter is setting a good example. What kind of mother would I be if I ignored someone in need? A woman being robbed of her power in favor of saving my own ass. Aw. Chapter 3. Well, we could always send Bianca to our mothers. That would probably be the smarter choice. <laughs> Until we figured out what was going on. Alright. Chapter 3. What do we do now? All, so it, all signs point to your husband, Rosa. Oh. Can't, I can't believe it. He loved me. Didn't he? Uh. That isn't love. Hurting you isn't love. My memory is so hazy. He got so angry sometimes. I thought I was the problem, that if I just was better, that he would be the man I fell in love with again. <sighs> he was never that man, Rosa. People like him, they show you what you want to see. They lure you in, and when there's no escape, they show their true faces. <sighs> he was always garbage, and he was always the type of man to hurt you. <sighs> he just hid it until it was too late. Oh. And then he... But why? Why would he kill me? Sometimes there isn't a reason. Often it just escalates until one day screaming isn't enough. Hitting you isn't enough. And a step further, well, that's the end for you. Huh? I need to see it for myself. If he was really the one who killed me, I have to know for sure. We'll search the house for motive. I think I know a good place to look. <gasps> My diary? Uh, what? My diary. There must be a clue about that. Uh, my diary. There must be a clue about what happened inside. I remember I wrote everything in it. Where is it? Oh. I don't remember. Hmm. I guess we'll have a look around. Thank you, both of you. I'll be here. Where are you thinking about looking then, if not Rosa's diary? Uh, I bet the SD card has more secrets on it. And I guess we got plenty of leads then. Right, let's get started. First, let's go look at the laptop again.
Definitely not Rosa, but I'm pretty sure that's Rosa's husband. Did she know about this? Ah, oh, is that Rosa? Doesn't really look like her. Looks delicious. You never tell if those are ostriches or emus. Okay, so I think the only real clue we have is him dating someone. I think I know what is going on here. We should find Rose's diary just in case. Seems like a good place to check for Rose's diary. Uh. Hmm. She, okay, sorry, I was clicking quickly. Uh, they were having a conversation about if she looked in the, if Bianca looked in this, and Bianca said yes. So now it says, if I open this, there won't be anything important inside. Yes, Ma. Uh, There's something in the back. Uh, Wait, what? Uh, I asked if you checked here. Uh, Oops. What is it? Looks like a diary. Uh, is it roses? Let's take a look. Dear diary, I'm really excited about my birthday party this weekend. Siso's being, uh, been planning it for a long time, and I know he's going to make sure it's perfect. I don't even have to choose an outfit. He got a, me a dress and new shoes, and even made a hair appointment for me. Nails, too. I'm going to look like a bomb. I'm going to look bomb. All my closest friends are coming, and they keep hinting that he's getting me something he wanted for a long time. He's taking such good care of me. I don't know what I would do without him. Sometimes I think he's too good for me, but he always promises he loves me just the way I am. I'm so disorganized. My paints are all over the house. I even found one paint pot inside of a shoe. I can't wait until he cleans out the shed so I can use it as my art studio. I have so many ideas about how to decorate it and organize it. It would be nice to have a place for my art supplies that I can reach anytime I want. I'm trying to be patient. He's always been nice enough to let me use the attic space above his photography studio as my art studio. There's not much light and I can't access it when he's doing a shoot, but it works from now. Catch up. I should be more grateful for him. He gives me everything I could ever need. And he provides for me and he loves me. I have the perfect life. There's a symbol right here. Huh. What? Is there another clue? No, there's nothing. Nothing? What do you mean? It's all just nothing. Normal mussings from a young woman, what she ate, who she visited. It's all so normal. I feel like getting beat up by your husband would be something you'd mention in your diary. Actually, it's probably not. <sighs> Abusers like to read diaries. Aww. Seem to know a lot about this. We've got to be missing something. Let's take a closer look at the shed. If the fire was meant to cover something up, maybe it didn't burn everything. Don't you 
think it looks a bit weird. Uh, How? How so? It looks too clean. Ah, oh, you're right. Should be all sooty from the fire. It could just be new. Doesn't feel like a rock either. What do you mean? Looks like how a rock should, but it's also, like, too smooth. Hmm, let me see that thing. It's not a rock. Huh? It, it has a lock. A safe. Let's see if we can open it. Three numbers? Uh, do we know anything that has three numbers? I don't... We need to find the code. Maybe we missed something in Rose's diary? Looks like the window in this room. Huh? Such a beautiful view of the treetops. I wonder, what are you doing? Unscrewing the curtain rod. Used to be a thing. Hiding secret notes and stuff in the hollow of a rod. You've done this before? Yeah. Why? Aha! <laughs> I knew it! The ripped page from the diary. Yeah. Four seven two. <laughs> Let's go try it. We got it. Yes. So what's inside? It's huh? a cell phone. Huh? That's a cell phone. Uh. You know, the world existed before you entered it, right? <laughs> then my entrance uh, was definitely an improvement. <laughs> right. There must be something important on this thing. Do you have a charger for it? We might not need one. As ugly as cell phones used to be, they also lasted forever. I had plenty of old stuff I haven't touched in years just turn right on when I dig them up from a junk drawer. Let's see. Huh? It works. Wow. Huh? What's on it? Uh. Somebody's whole life. Pictures of Rosa with her friends, her husband. Notes to herself with a list of places she wanted to visit and foods she wanted to eat. Shopping list, a couple of ringtones, a palm tree as the wallpaper. Just a normal person living her life. Any texts? Hmm. There are quite a few. Mostly to someone named Inez. It's mostly a BFF vibe. Mostly? Looks like uh, Inez sent her a raunchy text by accident. And I think Rosa suspected her best friend and her husband. Poor Rosa. Looks like she went through his phone and took photos of his texts to Inez. Aww. That's heartbreaking. Yeah, and there's our motive. Huh? He killed Rosa to be with someone else? Looks like it. We gotta go tell Rosa. Let's see if I can text those photos to myself before this thing dies. <coughs> Who's that? I'm not sure. Message unknown. Who is this? Who is this? Why are you using my phone? Huh? Something wrong? I'm not sure. If this is who I think it is, should I respond? So, stranger danger, you know better than to talk to strangers. So, this your phone? That's what I said. Well, sorry, I just found a ru random old phone. Well, it's mine. I'm gonna pick it up. Where are you? Send me your address. Uh. Hmm. What's wrong? Think we might be in danger. What? Just from a few texts, I feel scared. Can only imagine what Rosa felt at the time. We have to go talk to her. Rosa? Eva, Bianca, what have you found? 
The usual, not good. Really don't love hearing that again. I know. We found photos and texts from an old phone hidden in the yard. Huh? In the rock? You remember? Oh. I think, I think I hid a lot from my husband. I can imagine why. The more I learn about this guy, the more I worry for you, Rosa. Did he, did he ever hit you? <gasps> no, no, nothing like that. Huh? I mean, sometimes you get a little rough, but he didn't mean it. <sighs> Rosa. He, he took care of me. Did he? Did he get upset when he wanted to go out with your friends? Did he push you to dress a certain way? Did he control the money in the relationship? Did you feel safe disagreeing with him about anything? Well, I... I... I guess I didn't have many friends. I don't think I went out much at all. <gasps> oh. <sighs> Are you remembering? Oh. I remember being in our bedroom, hearing the door lock, wondering when I'd be allowed to paint again. I was alone so much. Oh. How did I live like that? Uh, it's barely a life at all. No. So sorry, Rosa. At least he can't hurt you anymore. I wish I wish we could change things for you. <gasps> what what did you say? That I'm sorry? No, no, after that. She wished we could help change things. I wish it too. I feel terrible that there's nothing we can do. What if I told you there is something you can do? Anger. Uh. What? Huh? What could we possibly do? <laughs> I'm not sure yet, but I need you to look around more for something I may have been researching. Look at all the stuff you showed me. The photos, the text. I knew something was going on. Uh. I knew my loved ones had betrayed me. I must have had a plan. Uh. Whatever plan you had was for the living you. How can that help us now? A symbol in the corner of the page of my diary. You know what it means? Um, no? Honestly, me neither. The symbol used in Bajaria? I slaughtered that. Huh? That's like the dark magic stuff, right? Dark to who? <laughs> my grandma was really into it. I don't know much about it, but my grandma wouldn't be messing with anything evil. It's gotta be a clue. Say so. I guess we can check. Thank you so much, Ava. Oh. You two have done so much for me already. I don't know how I'll repay you. <laughs> don't worry, Rosa. We're happy to help. Yeah. Okay, I'll be here if you need me. Oh. I even know what we're supposed to be looking for. I'm not sure I have the best idea either. Keep an eye, an eye out for anything that seems witchy. Wonder what this drawing means. Oh, I found something. Okay, it was in the bookcase. The uh. paper. It's just torn to pieces. Maybe we can stick this back together again? This is it. The ritual. I guess we really found it. 
<laughs> we have to show Rosa. Do we, though? Huh? What do you mean? Bianca, this looks really dangerous. It's talking about bringing someone back. We don't even fully understand it, but we're messing with life or death here. And that's not something we should take lightly. So you just want to leave her like that? Aww. She'll be a ghost forever, maybe. That seems like the worst punishment I could possibly imagine. And it's not even her fault she's here. Aww. It's not fair. There's no guarantee this will even work. We could just be setting ourselves and Rosa up for disappointment. And are we really ready to deal with another heartbreak? <gasps> so soon. I can handle this. I'll do it by myself if I have to. <sighs> Would you be so hesitant if it was Mama were bringing back? That's not fair, Bianca. Well, would you? It's not our place to change things, or I would do it in a heartbeat. I don't know. She's Latin, though, and Latin <laughs> Latinos aren't big on... Oh, I don't know. Okay. Me, I would say in a heartbeat. Same time, she's Latino. Uh, bad juju. Alright, I'll do it in a heartbeat. That's your mother, B. <gasps> My wife. I'd do anything to get her back. We don't even know Rosa. Not really. Is there really nothing I can say that will change your mind? No. You're determined, then. Let's go talk to Rosa. Rosa, you still around? Don't really have a choice. <laughs> well, you might now. Huh? What do you mean? Take a look. We found this torn up in your dresser. A ritual. Huh? You know what this is? Oh. I think some part of me knew that at some point, something bad might happen. And I think I was trying to prepare. Why didn't you go through it, then, when you died? Well, she's a ghost. And it's kind of hard to do anything like this. It's still so fuzzy. I don't know exactly what happened. But I must have had trouble finding everything I need to make it happen. That's what we're here for. Right, Ma? Yeah. Right. <laughs> this is the most hope I've felt in a long time. Okay, let's do this. What do you need from us? First, we need to set up a ritual circle. We'll need chalk to draw it out. And some candles. Chalk and candles, got it. And matches, probably. Good idea. Any clue where you kept stuff like that? Mm, we used to have a junk drawer somewhere in the house. Easy. We'll find everything and be back soon. Thank you. Thank you both so much. I don't know what I'd do without you. Hmm. Ah, uh, girls supporting girls, right? Right. Okay. If it was me, and I was in this situation, Bianca would be at her grandmother's so damn fast. <laughs> Anything we need in there? Some loose papers? <laughs> ah, found some matches. Some night. Oh. <laughs> okay, found candles. <laughs> Wait, that took me a long time to find the chalk. Some bargaining. Hey, Rosa. Did you find them? Yep. Maybe we should really think about this, though. Nonsense. We're so close. You're giving me the best gift anyone could ask for. A true second chance. Yeah, but... Bianca, go ahead and draw the ritual circle. Okay.
This is terrible. We're going to end up summoning a demon. I think that's right. You did your best. <laughs> now for the candles. <gasps> Hold on. Aren't we rushing through this a little? Don't overthink this, Ava. Aren't you even a little excited? Don't you want to see if this works? Maybe get your wife back? Huh? Don't you want that, Ma? Hmm. Bianca. It's not so simple. This could be dangerous. I don't want you to get hurt. <sighs> be fine, Ma. Right, let's get the candle set up. Just like in the diagram. <laughs> You've got this. You better let me handle this one. We only have a couple of matches, and we have to light them quickly. Again. Oops, try again. We have one more match. Another last oh. match. You're doing this on purpose. We don't have time for this. Whoa, Rosa, calm down. I, sorry? I don't know what got into me. This is just, it's big, you know? <laughs> Guess I'm really excited. So what do we need now? It looks like the ritual says we need items that represent Rosa's mood. Uh, looks, well, it looks like we need the ritual... Looks like the ritual says we need items that represent Rosa's mind, body, and soul. Body should be easy, right? Aww. We got your blood. <gasps> oh, yeah, I suppose that would work. Can we be sure it's Rosa's, though? What if we're wrong? Huh? Who else would have gotten murdered in this house? How about some hair, then? I'm sure my brush is still laying around somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Couldn't it hurt to use both. Just in case. Right. Be right back. In the meantime, I'll think about the mind and soul parts. Got the brush, Rosa. Oh, that was fast. Didn't give you much time to think about the other pieces of the ritual, I guess. <laughs> Turns out I didn't need that much time. When I, when I was locked up while my husband was away, Aww. only one thing could calm the raging storm in my head. My favorite song. No matter how I was feeling, that song could put my mind at ease. Easy. Ma, pull up your streaming app. Yeah, Rosa, what's the name of the song? I don't remember. <sighs> oh. Poop. There's a cassette in the house somewhere, though. I know that much. And a player, I hope? My car doesn't even have a cassette player anymore. Hmm, I think there's one somewhere in the attic, actually. Got it. Ancient music player, ancient music tape. Ugh. Hey. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not the only one getting called old this time. We'll be back as soon as we can. Hey, Rosa, you can count on us. <laughs> Thank you, Bianca. I couldn't do this without you. Huh? Oh, found the cassette player. <laughs> okay, basement. Hey, this old cassette tape might be the one we're looking for. I don't see any others. What's the song? <sighs> Salito Lindo? Never heard of it. A sad song. A love song. Why does love always seem so sad? Because it is. But it's happy too. Sad and happy at the same time? I think I get it, but it doesn't make sense. <laughs> love never does. That's everything we need, right? <sighs> Maybe not. Turns out the cassette player doesn't have any batteries. There's gotta be something in this house with batteries we can use, right? Let's go look. The remote control in the living room. Oh. <laughs> Rosa, we got the cassette. R Rosa? Maybe she's busy? Mm. What could she be possibly doing that's more important than this? Maybe if we play the song, it'll draw her out. <laughs> I knew I raised a genius. 
Hey, here goes nothing. Oh. You found it. This is the right one. Yeah, it is. Aww. Are you okay, Rosa? You seem sad. Just brings back so many memories. So many hopes I had. So many dreams. Even my fears. All gone. Stolen from me. You'll be able to get it all back though, right? Yeah, I'll get it back. We'll get it back. Together. <laughs> yeah, together. Yeah, together. So what's left? Your soul? What represents your soul? <laughs> My art. Definitely. I love to paint. My paint set was the most precious thing to me in the whole world. And it was a gift from my mother. The glass bottles and brushes inside were too. Aww. I'm afraid I was a mess when I was alive. All that stuff is scattered. Who knows where around the house? Don't worry, we'll gather it all up. Let's find the case first. Any clue where it might be? Ugh. I bet he locked it up somewhere I wasn't allowed without him. His office, maybe? Or the basement? Got it. Be back soon. Good luck. It's an art case. Alright. Must be roses. It's empty. Let's look for five paint pots and two brushes. Aww. Nothing smelly in here after all. <laughs> Someone must have cleaned it out. <laughs> yeah, but look, they left us this. We found five. Found everything for the art case. Time to complete that ritual. Hey, Rose. <gasps> I'm here. Uh. Oh, hi. Did you find them, my art supplies? We did. <gasps> Does this mean we can start the ritual? <laughs> yes. Finally. Ugh. Just make sure this is really what you want, Rosa. Ugh. Of course it is. Oh. Isn't this what you would want? If you were in my place? Honestly, I'm not so sure. It's easy for you to say now. But you aren't dead. You don't know what it's like. I'm living between. Not really here. And not really gone. Oh. This is a prison. And I need to get out. Uh, no, Ava, you're not getting it. My life was ripped away from me. There's so much I didn't get to do. I won't give up on a second chance. Aww. Aww, why are you trying so hard to stop this? Uh, it's like you don't want it to work. And what if it doesn't work? What if it does work? I know you're hoping we can use this to get Val back. <gasps> but I won't do it, Bianca. Your mama is at peace. I won't bring her back to this world of pain. I won't. You're being selfish. Everything is about what you want. How about about how you feel? You don't even think about what I think. <sighs> See, that's not true. Just leave then. We'll do the ritual without you. I'm not going anywhere, B. Call me what you want, but I'll always be your mother. And I will never give up on my kid. Unless I'm dead, right? Even if you have a chance to bring me back. Huh? B. Let's do this, Rosa. Forget her. Bianca. Right. It's time. I'll stand in the middle of the ritual circle. Now you read out the ritual. Hey, okay. Here we go. What now? The ritual's in Spanish. And she doesn't really speak Spanish. Why wouldn't you teach your daughter your own language? Hmm. I don't know. We did at first, but then it kind of dropped off. 
She goes to English-speaking schools. All her friends in the area only speak English. So you just let that part of her culture die? Out of convenience? Sometimes. It's just easier not to have to fight all the time to be who you are. Huh? I get it. I don't agree with it, but I get it. So then, can you read the ritual for me? Yeah, I suppose I will. Thank you, Ava. Really. Here we go. With the strength of the mind. Huh? Whoa! Uh... uh <gasps> keep going. Uh. With the strength of the body. No. Ma, don't stop. With the strength of the soul. Working. Back to life. <laughs> I feel something. Back to life. Yes. Back to life. Huh? What happened? It didn't work. E. Oh. No, 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 no. Rosa, I'm so sorry. Uh, we're a failed witch. Maybe magic isn't your forte. No, we missed something. We must have. <gasps> the ritual page. Huh? I must not have gotten the whole ritual. I only tore out one page. You think there's more to the ritual? <laughs> there's gotta be. We did everything right. Maybe, maybe it's just time to accept. Oh. But we're so close. Please, Ava. Please help me. Aw. Where's the rest of the book? Somewhere in the house? Oh. I'm not sure. It's probably still in the library. I only ripped out a page. Oh. Just in case he saw. I see. <laughs> we still have a chance, Ma. Olivia will help find the book. I know she will. Better get going before they close. Think I'm gonna stay here with Rosa. Uh. Excuse me? I'll look around the house while you search the library. We'll save time if we split up. I don't know, Bianca. I'd feel better if you came with me. Rosa's a ghost, Ma. She can't really do anything. No offense, Rosa. <laughs> I'm taken. I'll keep an eye on her. I promise. Well, I guess that's fine. No, this is a terrible idea. Ava, what the hell are you doing? I mean, I... No! I'll be right back, Bianca. Don't open the door for anyone, you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm off to the library. Be back soon. Do you think the ghost is playing us? I sort of feel like the ghost is playing us. Ugh. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. Oh? Hey, well, what brings you to the library again? And so late. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you can help me. <laughs> I can certainly try. I'm looking for a book. I need you to be a little more specific. It's a book on Bru Brugeria. It's really old and well. <sighs> That's all I know, actually. Normally I'd say we got quite the search ahead of us, but actually, those books aren't all that common in a small library like ours. I'll go look in the back room. You can take a look at the books on the second floor. There's only two spots it could be, really. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was worried this would be impossible to find. I'm happy I could help. So where's Bianca? Oh, she's at home. She's keeping herself busy. While her mom looks up books on dark magic? Something like that. Okay, well, I'll be right back. I'll take down the rope for you so you have access upstairs. Thanks, Olivia. Hundred and one a hundred ways to use lemon cakes. I didn't write this book by Trash Can Goddess. The Art of Wrangling Turtles. Detective Polo and the Lady in White. The Secret Life of Ants. Aha, uh -huh, this must be it. So oh, many chapters. Which is the right one? Okay, here we go. This must be the chapter Rosa originally tore uh. out. Wait a second. Sacrificio. Uh. Sacrifice? Bianca. I didn't find anything back there. I'm sorry, I have to go. Uh. 
Mistakes were made. Chapter 6. You trusted a ghost. What did you expect? Good night, say. I have to get Bianca before it's too late. Bianca, <gasps> you're back. <gasps> Ma! B, get away from her. Ugh. Don't try to stop this, Av Aviana. It's what Bianca wants. <sighs> Bitch, shut your mouth. <sighs> B, are you okay? I don't know. Come here, baby. Step away from the circle. Don't listen to her, Bianca. Aww. You made your choice. She wasn't even here for it. Just like she's never there for you. We talked about this, remember? You want this. <laughs> we understand each other. Oh. No one else understands what you've gone through. No one cares about how we feel. Everyone is trying to continue like this is the way life is supposed to be. But we know the truth. Life wasn't supposed to go this way. You weren't supposed to lose your mom. You weren't supposed to have to go through that pain. Oh. Just like I wasn't supposed to have to go through this pain. The life you always imagined ahead of you was stolen away. I get that better than anyone. I wanted a little girl just like you. I wanted so much. But now, we both can have what we want. I can live the life that was stolen from me, and you... <laughs> you can see your mom again. Uh, no. <sighs> Bianca, don't listen to her. Do you understand what she's saying? She's going to kill you. But, Mammy... She wouldn't want this, mijo. You know she wouldn't want this. I miss her so much, and you never talk about her. You never want to, no matter how hard I try. You ran away from our home. You ran away from our life. Aww. You think we could just start over here, but we can't. She's everywhere. She's in every corner of this house, and she's never been here. <gasps> I see her in everything. <gasps> you don't think I do, too? Everything reminds me of her. I see her every time I look at you. You're her little twin. I didn't want this, this pain for you. Of course I didn't. But what else was I supposed to do? We were drowning in her at the house. How could we keep living that way? You were crying every night. <gasps> How did you... You think I couldn't hear? We shared a wall, Bianca. I was sobbing right there with you. But I couldn't let you see. I have to be the strong one. To show you that life isn't over. The bitch is over here just laughing. Uh, <laughs> to show you that life isn't over. That we can still be happy. <gasps> I don't think I'll ever be happy again. Mm. I know it feels that way right now, but it's not true. One day you'll be able to look back on your memories and smile. You had so good you had so many good memories together. I can remember the I can barely remember the good. All I see when I close my eyes is the way she looked at the funeral. Her skin it was so cold. Her face didn't even look like her face. It was like like she was someone else. It wasn't her. Bianca. I'm starting to forget what her real face looked like. All I can see is that other person in the casket. I don't remember. I don't want to remember her that way. Aww. But this, I could see her again. See her face. Her real face. And you could be with her forever. Just step into the circle with me, Bianca. Ugh. Shut up. Bianca, don't you move. Mm. Bianca, baby, please. There are so many ways to remember her. Come with me, Miha. I'll show you. <gasps> I'm sorry, Mama. Giving up. You really couldn't convince Bianca to keep living. <gasps> Bianca! Goodbye. Bianca! Bianca? <laughs> no, it's not. Rosa. That's me. Where is my daughter? With her mother. <sighs> you. Bitch. I'll kill you all over again. You tricked us. You tricked her. You like to think that, wouldn't you? To make yourself feel better. But here's the truth, Aviana. The ritual requires a willing sacrifice. <gasps> no. No, I... A 
Oh, does that bother you? That little Bianca chose to go. <sighs> you, you did this. What did you expect? You took her from her home, from her friends, from her memories of the person she loved most in the world. <gasps> It was too it was too easy to convince her to trade places with me. No. I have to thank you too, Ava. You made so many mistakes. So many moments to be the support she needed to tell her everything would be okay. But you were selfish and sometimes cruel. It's too late for you to learn from your mistakes now. But it isn't too late for me. This is my second chance, don't you see? And you taught me so much. This time, this time, I'll do it right. Rosa, Rosa, please, bring my baby back. Please? Ava, I'm going to give you the best advice you ever gave me. I didn't listen, but I think you probably should. Because unlike for me, it's too late for anything else for you. Here's the advice. Are you listening? Move on. He finished chapter six. Well, that was sucky. <laughs> <laughs> and we got credit watcher. Uh, all right. That's, I wonder if I can speed run it and see if I can get the correct answers. I'll be right back. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Ooh, she came with me. Took me a couple of tries to get this right. Uh, come here. Ugh. No! You think you can just walk away? What makes your life more important than mine? <sighs> Nothing, Rosa. I'm sorry, but you don't have a life anymore. And that's not your fault, and it isn't fair, but... It's reality. And Bianca, she still has her whole life ahead of her. And I won't let you take away... I won't let you take away my second chance. Huh? Ma! Huh? Just calm down, Rosa. How can I? I'm trapped for all eternity in the same house. I was trapped in my entire adult life. I'm never going to escape this place unless you help me. This is my chance to live the life I was supposed to live. The life I deserve. Huh? I'd be a good daughter, Ava. I already know how to take care of myself. You just need to help me with the basics until this body is old enough to... <sighs> enough! You're not taking my daughter's body. You could be free, Ava. You could start over, maybe with that cute librarian. You could start a new life. A new family. I have a family. And you can't have it. <laughs> and who is going to stop me? You? That's exactly what I'm going to do. <gasps> what is that? The book where you found the ritual. There's some other interesting stuff in here, too. No! With the force of life. Don't! I seal you to death. Stop! Leave this world. Please, wait! Leave this world. Uh... No! No! Leave this world. Ah! Uh, she... I think so, Mia. Come on. Let's get out of this attic. It's time for both of us to rest. Chapter 7. Took me, uh, 27 minutes to, uh, speed run that. What are you doing awake so early? Just looking at the sunrise. I didn't think I'd ever see one again. You'll see plenty of sunrises, Miha. <laughs> and I'll be right there to see a bunch with you. So, what do we do now? Do we just forget we had a ghost in our attic? Forget that I tried to... Tried to... <gasps> no, we don't forget. But we don't dwell on it either. We take it as a learning experience. It'll always be a part of us. But it won't control us. We do what we always do. We move forward. Together. I love you, Ma. I love you too, Miha. 
<laughs> you hungry? Yeah, I guess I am. Pancakes? <laughs> Chocolate chip? You got it, B. <laughs> I'm so afraid I was making so many mistakes with answering that. Alright guys, thanks so much for keeping me company. I'll be back with something very soon, I promise.